The Flash's staff's biggest mistake was giving sentience to primordial forces of nature, more specifically, the speed, strength, still, and sage force. The reason this was a mistake is because it now could, is, and will always beg the question of why didn't they interfere, which later branches into logical inconsistencies and a whole lot of suspended disbelief that's just too much to take. For example, in Season 7, when the Speed Force was reborn, along, um, along with it was three other forces that were born on that day, the Still, Strength, and Sage Force. But the problem is that these forces had sentience, the ability to feel and sense things. And not just that, the writers gave them like an alignment, like the ability sort of to be evil or neutral or good and the ability to choose right from wrong and to recognize that. Now, of course, the forces were good, as you can guess, uh, in alignment. And we ran into the first inconsistency, and that was the speed force helping Team Flash against Godspeed. For those of you who do not remember, Godspeed was basically siphoning energy off the Speed Force and also had the intention of, to be the fastest speedster alive. And eventually, Team Flash with Nora and Bart Allen fought the Godspeed clones and when the Speed Force showed up physically, she simply snapped her fingers and beat a bunch of Godspeed clones. Now, the first problem with this is that it begs the question already, why didn't she do that to every other clone? Number two, why didn't she give an infinite boost of energy to every other member of Team Flash? Number three, how was an extra dimensional source of energy able to be weakened by a human being siphoning off of that energy? I'm sure that human being cannot siphon off infinite amounts of energy. He would probably die. So that already doesn't make sense in and of, in and of itself. And especially, why, did, why didn't she cut off Godspeed's connection to, this, to the Speed Force? So, as you can see, this is why I believe this is the biggest mistake that the Flash made. Because now, I'm always going to be wondering why the forces couldn't just interfere with any of the affairs of Team Flash. Because that's clearly how they have set it up to be. So, I would definitely prefer if, like this were to be retconned and you come out in an interview saying this and stating that this is retconned because if you give them an alignment then that means that they can always help the person their hopes or team flash or anyone anyone any friend of team flash or anything of the sort and you may be wondering what other alternatives are there and how would you tackle the idea of like a positive and a negative speed force for like reverse flash barry allen and you know every other character that uses like a uh, the opposite force and to that i say we should simply consult the comic books for that if i'm not mistaken that's why reverse flash originally created his own version of a speed force and he called it the negative speed force because reverse flash is just the opposite of the flash but for some reason the flat the show retconned his comic book origin in the show to that of a negative speed force always existing and it choosing like an avatar and things of the sort. So, you know, the damage is already done. But yeah, that's just something I wanted to touch upon. Well, peace.